Good Monday morning, everybody. Today is the 2nd of March. So we got the futures. They rose overnight. Then uh, looks like they took a little dive. Uh, here we go. We got the Dow futures down 44. We got S&P down 12. NASDAQ down 5. Gold catching bids again. Silver catching bids again. And look at that. Even oil. Even though traveling may be uh, at a standstill for a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at Asia. Give us some indications how they did. Looking good. More, yeah, positive, good. You know, not really too mixed, but you know, you got it. Um, Europe, nah, they're more negative. Futures. Oh, Dow futures are down more. Okay. So then, um, here's your Bitcoin. You know, still bearish now. You know, that went bear mode once it dipped under nine. So. I don't expect anything good here right now. Maybe later on in a week, but nothing good right now. You know, yeah, 6%, this and that. They're going. They're looking good this morning, but, you know, I don't think you got to catch any bids on this right now. You know, probably trade sideways. And who knows? I could be wrong. Maybe they go up. Some news over the weekend. You got um, a company uh, investor that bought about a billion dollars worth of Twitter. Maybe they're looking to take out uh, Jack Dorsey. Not really sure. Uh, let me just go into a quick morning movers now for you so we have that first thing. Let's look at CPHI for everybody. So here's where your money's flowing. Look at that. China Pharma. It's up 94% right now at $1.11. I have a research report up there in a little bit. So if you're watching the video, please click on the links below. And you know, you could look at a quick link which is paid. I know if you have services, a lot of them you get S&Ps and Moody's maybe and others, value line for free. You know this, you have to pay for um, IBD and uh, you don't have to pay if you subscribe to this channel because I'll provide it for free. And also, if I don't cover one and you want one, just you know send me a little comment and I'll add it there for you and I could even talk about it for you if I think it's good or bad, whatnot. Let me go to another one, just trying to move along quick, I-B-I-O, here's another, your movers. You know, in these you could probably play long, short, you know, just be careful and be quick, that's all. So, um, here's another one. Take a look. Up 21% pre-market. Getting another one that we covered before. RTTR. Mm, this one's still going. Up 28% in the pre-market, under a dollar, 90 cents just about. Let's get uh, FTSR, FTSR. Oops. There we go. This one's doing pretty good. Oh, doesn't like that. Let's see what I did wrong. Oh, F. Sorry. F. T. S. V. There we go. And look at that. Moving. Up 61%. Nice. And like I said, I'll have a report on these. And then I'm just going to do DXR, and then I'll get everybody going very quick today. And that's up 86% pre-market. Look at that, 16 bucks. You know, so these, you know, they're probably going to be shorts overall, you know, once um, this market's done uh, with all this corona fears. But, um, you know, right now the trend, you could play for a dollar up, dollar down, maybe two up, two down. Who knows, you know? Just be cautious, watch your charts, and uh, pay attention, people. And uh, let's just look at your earnings real quick. So this is what we got already this morning, JD.com, that's a China play, <clears throat> they compete with Alibaba. Yeah, and just taking a look real quick, and this is EarningWhispers.com, you can check it out yourself people. Travel Zoo, <laughs> I remember that, long time ago. Now let's check out after the market, Telray, there goes your pot stocks people. Yeah, Stone Cold, let's see, mm, 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 mm. yeah, so you got a couple, you know, I guess Tilray people be looking for the marijuana, pot sector, cannabis, whatever you want to classify it, call it, um, you know, those all got ahead of themselves, Tilray was a darling, you know, I remember it surged like 100, 200 almost, then crashed down, just got ahead of itself, you know, maybe like uh, Tesla at one point, Galactic, um, I won't go coronavirus real quick because, of course, this is uh, everything people are worried about. So, mm. 
I don't know, I think this number's higher, you know, but this seems hopefully accurate, I don't really know, but 3,000, you know, flu, the swine, all this other stuff killed more people, did more damage, so, you know, just uh, take it with a grain of salt, that's all. Here's your Bitcoin, uh, let's just get a chart so you can kind of see what's up there real quick. Let's blow it up for you. Looking good on my trading one minute, but let me pull it back to a 15 minute. And there you go. You know, so it looks like it wants to go, but eh, I got a feeling it's going to be back down here. <laughs> so uh, don't get too bullish people just yet. And um, here's just all of them, quick snapshot, so you could just see Bitcoin, Ethereum, compliments of Coin Detective, the Coin Detective.com. Go there, they show it very nice. I like how they break everything down for you, a little more complicated. But, you know, it's good. You know, the other ones just kind of give you a quick, boom, 25 hour version, and that's it. So, here's just some of our cryptocurrencies. So, you got some green, you got more green than red. So, you know, they are catching bids. And that's, I just like to go up to Beam and Grin. Guess that's on the three list under a hundred. Let's go right there. There's Grin, a dollar three. So is Beam under or over? Under sixty one cents. So remember that caught about a dollar almost. You know, sixty one cents. I like Beam. I'm mining it right now. Beautiful. You know, and Grin too. You know, Grin is nice. You know, Beam has some stuff going for it on a positive. Grin's doing another wallet that's making it a little bit more efficient. I think like Beam. And uh, just go right back here. And uh, just get you some news right there, and uh, that's where we're sitting, everybody. Square. Talk for one billion, probably trying to raise money to buy back some shares on Twitter. <laughs> and um, Beam Therapeutics, nice. Not Beam Coin, outperform, but I give Beam Coin an outperform with a dollar plus. You know what? One more for you, real quick. Just get the Twitter up there so you can see what happened real quick. So it's bouncing, catching a bid, nice. And, um, yeah, you can find the news, people. So you need it, it's there, find it. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see if Jack Dorsey's going to remain in the future as an owner or not, or a minority holder. And uh, that's it, everyone. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have comments, you want reports, let me know. I'll get them all out to you. You need any analysis, let me know. I was on Wall Street for many, many, many years. As a trader, I did well. Um, if you need uh, anything, happy trading then. And uh, look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow morning. Have a great one, everyone.